Mr. Moore uh, joined a year after the war was declared in 41. I, I was drafted a year later and um, stayed for three years. Spent one year in Louisiana, one in Texas, and one overseas. So, my basic training was um, the first year was in Alexander, Louisiana, second year in Gainesville, Texas, and then we was shipped overseas in uh, 1944. And uh, we got to come back home in 45, a year later. And um, I was going to just come home for 30 days and then go back and go to Japan. But while I, that 30 days I was home, the war ended in Japan and I didn't have to go. And I had enough points then to get out. You had to have so many points. I had enough when I went back to be discharged. No, I don't exactly. But um, that was on December the 7th. And on seven, uh, December the 17th, after that, I got married. <laughs> so, I was 10 days later, but I didn't have to go into service for another year. Uh, well, we landed in Marseille, France, and we got in about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They said, well, get your stuff, because we had everything we had with us, and uh, said we got to walk a little way. So we started out at 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and 12 o'clock that night, we got where we were going, and uh, uh, everybody just stopped and lay down, went to sleep on the ground, and Next morning, by daylight, it started raining, and it rained for several days. So, but they um, asked for, and the next day or two, maybe they came around asking for truck drivers to bring stuff out from Marseille, and and um, I volunteered and. I checked the miles back to town. We'd walk 25 miles that night. <laughs> I, don't, I guess we were probably assigned to different, be doing different things after that. And I, I, I was in the field artillery and uh, all the, the whole time I was over there, or in, uh, in the service, which was better than the infantry, really, because we were not right up on the front. We could stay back a little way. You know, there was a crew of seven or eight in a gun crew, and one was a gunner and one was uh, Fix the shells, put different charges in them, and everybody had a job. I happened to be the gunner at the time. It was a 105 house. Of course, there was a bigger one further back behind us that would go further. I think this one would shoot about seven miles. No, 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 we wasn't in any close combat because artillery was further back, you know, from the front. Yeah, we were on 
standby to be called up in the Battle of the Bulge, but we didn't have to go. We never didn't know what we were shooting at, because we had a foreign observer, a, a man up ahead, to, telling you where to, how to hit what you wanted. Seemed like the mountain saw like Kennesaw, and we was right up against it, and the guns were just pointed nearly straight up, and well, we dropped shells on the other side. A man was sent into our gun crew later, and he was an older man. So most of us, you know, in 20, 21, some may be younger. <clears throat> I think I was about 25. Anyway, he was 38 years old. And uh, he just, he was from over in Alabama. He was uh, just a good old country fellow and didn't have very much education, but he didn't worry about anything. And uh, anyway, uh, when we were over there in Germany, it was a cold winter, really. Somebody might have told you how bad the weather was. And, uh, but when he first came in to join us, everybody was introducing himself and saying where they are from, all that. And, but he was from Alabama. And when I said I was from Marietta, he said, you know where that federal prison is in Atlanta? I said, yeah, I've been bad. He said, well, I stayed there a year. <laughs> he kind of proud of it, it seemed like. And I think he, what they had him for was making whiskey, moonshine back that would have been in the late 30s. Uh, anyway, um, later on, when we was in that cold weather and over there in Germany, he came over to me one day and said, you know, if I'd known all this was coming, I could still be in Atlanta. He said, a lot better than it is here. <laughs> Because you say the best time was when we, when the war ended and we got, you know, knew we'd get home before long. I left in October, and uh, in, anyway, um, my f first, my daughter was born a few days after I left. And uh, she was a year old when I got back. I got back for her first birthday. It means, uh, I guess, uh, recognize the veterans, the ones that have been in wars. And it's a good, good day to have. No, that. Like you said, we're trying to forget a lot of it. And because it's been over 75 years, so hard to remember all of it. Things are a little, a little tight. <laughs> <laughs>